My name is Andrea and today I'm making Creole shrimp and pepper jack tart. Now this is not my recipe so I will make sure to link that recipe in the description box. But let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need some melted butter, a half a pound of chopped shrimp or whatever seafood you prefer, some green onions, eggs, freshly shredded pepper jack cheese, you're going to need one refrigerated pie crust, and I prefer Pillsbury. And you're also going to need some Creole seasoning, and my favorite is Tony Sasseries. All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna start off by cooking our shrimp. And the recipe calls for you to cook the shrimp and then season it. But I always season um, my meat or seafood when I'm cooking it. So I'm just adding that Creole seasoning right in there. And I'm cooking my shrimp in a little bit of butter. Okay, so my shrimp is ready. I cooked it to about 70% doneness. And that's because we're gonna be baking the shrimp and I don't want it to get too tough in the oven. Okay, I've got my shrimp in a large bowl. I let them cool a little bit because I didn't want the eggs to curdle. Now, of course, you could use pre-cooked shrimp and that would save you a step, but I'm just putting in some lightly beaten eggs, my green onions, pepper jack cheese, and it's best to shred your own. The pre-shredded kind just doesn't melt the same. And it has fillers in there and my melted butter. Okay, I've got everything all mixed up. I have a parchment lined cookie sheet and I have unrolled my crust and just laid it in there. Now I'm just pouring that filling right in, or right on top, I guess I should say. And then you're just gonna spread that filling out almost to the edges. Hold those edges right over. And it doesn't have to be fancy or perfect. The more rustic looking, the better. Now the recipe calls for you to use an egg wash. I'm not a big egg wash person. I prefer to use heavy whipping cream. I just like it better. So I have probably about maybe a tablespoon or two of heavy whipping cream. And I'm just using a pastry brush. And I'm just brushing it right on top of that crust. Okay, I'm gonna place this in my preheated oven and I'm going to bake this for about 40 minutes or until that center is set and that crust is golden brown. Okay, so here is the tart. I let it bake for 40 minutes. I just took it out of the oven, let it cool for about five minutes. I'm gonna get this plated up so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so I have everything all plated up and I'm serving this with a, just a little side salad. The one thing that I will say um, about this recipe is I do feel like it's a little salty. So the recipe calls for one to two teaspoons of Creole seasoning. I added about a teaspoon and a half and I really feel like that's too much. I would definitely probably only do like a half of a teaspoon next time because you've got the saltiness of the cheese, but that again is just a personal preference, but it's really good, it has a great flavor, and I would definitely make it again with less Creole seasoning next time. So I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.